guys welcome back to my channel for today i have a smoky eye tutorial um it's been a long time since i've done a smoky eye um i feel like i've been doing just subtle looks i've been doing the same looks all the time and i never really and i never really take the time to get back to those to that dramatic makeup so yeah i just kind of wanted to go out of my comfort zone and do something a little bit different and so if you want to see how I do my smoky eye, go ahead and keep on watching. I prep my face with the Aveeno um, lotion, moisturizing. I'm also um, adding foundation right on my eyebrows, which is also going to help the product move more freely. My eyes are a little bit pink because I was doing another look. I don't know, but I hate my eyebrows. They're so... I wish I had more hair. I do have an eyebrow tutorial. You guys can check that out. I'm not really going into detail about the eyebrow. I just feel so like... Ugh. But I say, you know what? You have to get up. Just do your makeup or something. I like legit get depressed sometimes. Just out of nowhere. It just happens, you know. Ugh, killed it right here. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going in with that Pixie uh, makeup mist. Okay, and I'm gonna move on to the eyeshadow. Okay, I'm just gonna be taking this little brush, grab a little bit of the product, apply that all over your lid. So you want to blend that in with the with the product that you used to clean out your um, waterline as well, because we are going to be adding eyeshadow to that as well. And go ahead and set all that. That way, when you add your eyeshadow, it moves a little bit more freely. Okay, there you go. I am going to be using the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia. This color right here and most likely this. I'm using this brush. This is a M200 brush from Morphe. We are going to slowly build that um, transition color. Just want to go in circular motion, slowly pegging it on. Start packing in this. We are slowly gonna bring that up to the crease, and we're gonna bring back our transition color. Once it's on the lid, you want to start blending upward. So now I'm going back with that other brush, and I'm gonna blend everything else. I'm going to be going back and forth with these two brushes just so we don't lose that transition color. Okay, just like that. I'm going to blend it all out. We're just basically blending everything in together. That way there's no harsh line where it ends and where the other transition color begins. So as you can see, we are not losing that transition color. It's still peeking through. Do the same step again. I'm gonna add Violeta again right on the lid and bringing it back. Blending everything in. You have to take your time blending and blending. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and smoke out right underneath my waterline. We are going to be doing the same thing. I'm taking the same brushes. I'm going to go ahead and keep packing that color in. Same process, taking it up to the corner. That way it blends in. You want to look up a little bit when you're adding it. 
and I'm using these eyelashes. They are from Bombshell Cosmetica. Um, I do have a discount code with them. You can use my code. It's um, CristelXXO, and you can get some money off using Mimosa. Okay. You always want to add a little bit of mascara before applying any falsies. That way, um, they blend in. Poke myself. My eye. So you want to make sure that you can't really tell where you glued your eye. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to be moving on to the foundation. Since I want more of a natural look in my face, I am going to add the uh, Bobbi Brown foundation. It's a uh, very light coverage. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit darker. I haven't used it in a while, but it looks darker. I can't find my brush, so I'm just doing it with my fingers. As you can see, there's not much of a coverage with this foundation, so... Add a tiny bit of concealer, not so much, just a little bit. Take that down the bridge of your nose as well. Just blend it all in. And then the other side. I'm basically going to go ahead and set my whole face because I want a matte look because I get very oily. So we're going to go ahead and set everything else. Okay, just very lightly. I'm not going to contour a lot. With this brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend all that. Just because I like that effect that it gives, that it gives it. I just want to go straight down on the bridge of your nose. Just taking this brush from um, Morphe and then the Hula Bronzer again. And I'm going very lightly on that. Taking it up and going to the temples. And then getting that forehead as well. And at the highest points. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this one from Wet n Wild. It's a illuminating palette. I'm gonna be spraying a little bit of that mixing mist to the brush. When it picks up the highlight, um, it gives it gives us it gives us a more of an intense color. So I'm basically grabbing like every color. I don't know. I've never really done this, so. I'm assuming that's how you do it. So, setting a little bit. It's not really picking up a lot of it, but. And you also want to add a little bit of that highlight right underneath your brow bone. And you don't really need to dust anything off. None of the product that we apply down here, you don't need to. It'll just set and it'll look very. Um, very natural and soft so it won't like crease up or anything so you don't have to worry about it creasing up or anything it usually doesn't crease up if you add just a little bit of okay so there you go so, so I'm using this eyeliner from NYX in ever I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips So my camera died on me, so I had to charge it for a little bit. Um, I just went ahead and did my hair and changed and all that. Good. I left off on my lips. I'm using this um, liquid suede from, um, it's a cream lipstick from NYX. Liquid suede. And the color is Sandstorm, okay? So I was telling you guys I was going to lighten my lips. So I'm just adding a little bit of... I'm just outlining everything else again. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of that highlight so we can look really nice and glowy. Ugh, and I like this because I don't know how, whatever. I'm pretty sure you just pick out a color 
but I'm just mixing every single color. Okay? Only a little bit. And my best friend gave me this, so love you, best friend. That smells so good. Oh my god. Like, you literally want to eat it. I add a little bit of this gloss just right in the middle. Oh, what the heck? Let's just add it all. Okay. And this is a really nice nude lip gloss. I've been looking for something like this. I was going to pick one up at MAC. But I just can't make up my mind. And then... My best friend surprised me with this lip gloss, which I totally love. And this is the, this is literally, that's what it's called, literally. I'm going to go ahead and set my face one more time. And I'm going to set that with the matte setting spray from NYX. This is what I'm using. I use this all the time because I like a matte finishing look. But I do love to add a lot of highlight. But everything else, I want it to be matte because my face, it's very oily, so go ahead and set that for one last time a little bit more see so this is basically it guys um if you found this helpful and if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and go ahead and leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye